Hi everyone, Shirley again. Uh, today I wish to share what is the step to configure AutoCAD in order to link to our My Invoice Portal. So first, after you upgrade to the version V2.2, right? what you need to do is the first step from here, tools options, you need to double check your country and tax here, right? Please make sure you enable the A invoice module already. And then please make sure your start date set up correctly. If let's say you are the first batch of uh, e-invoicing e e user, right? You need to set 1st of August. Here, you need to uh, let the system know whether you are allowed your user to do consolidated e-invoice or not. If your company doesn't allow to create any consolidated e-invoice, you don't take this. Okay, then the next will be your uh, grace period. Uh. Since uh, our government announced there is a six months grace period for all of the company recently, so here there's an interim relaxing period. Uh. So for example, let's say you are start from 1st of August, right? Your um, your six month relaxing period will be until uh, 31st of uh, January. Okay, so you can set this thing. But then let's say your company do not want to take this uh, opportunity. They want to want, wish to continue as per normal uh, method, which is uh, to submit e invoice. Okay, as per usual. So then this one, right, you just set to uh, before, set to the date before e invoicing date. Will do. Okay, so then uh, first step, you need to click this thing. Update e invoice code list. Uh, what is this? This one is actually we directly connect to our uh, LHDN IRB to retrieve the available MSIC code, classification code, unit of measurement, and also the country code from IRB latest list. Okay. Then second step. This one is a new features which AutoCAL have at uh, V2.2. Okay. So here, by default, when you enable the e-invoice module, right, the screen will be something like this because to e-invoice, um, you need to have the draft module and then a poor module. So by default, we will deem and we will tick as enable under the um, invoice, credit note, debit note, and also our refund uh, module. By default, the, there's a approval flow uh, required. Okay, then the rest of the module is up to your company to decide whether you want to use approval workflow or not because this is a new feature uh, added in. Okay. Then also here, an approved document, right, will be automatically fall to our expired uh, tape. Later, I will show where it broke. So you can preset the number of days here. Okay. Once you get ready and uh, enable the e-invoice module, right? The next step will be your company profile, your own uh, setup for the team, okay? So make sure your register number is correct. So from here, right, as per usual, you just set up whenever uh, building information, set up your logo. We'll do already here, the important things to link up the um, your auto account to our IRB, right? Here, you need to make sure you maintain your team number correctly. Okay, you can add new here. You can add here, add new, key in your company information, pin, your BRN number, your MSIC code. Okay, and then the other thing is you, if you wish to share the information to others, uh, company as well, for example, your supplier, your buyer, right, who also using auto account, you can click this one. So once you click this thing, right, once you click this thing, it will share to uh, it will share the information at our AIP server. So subsequently, when your customer or your supplier looking for you, right, they can just search from our AIP server. Okay. Then the next step will be this one: client ID and client secret. I'm not sure whether are you able to recall where 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 to get this thing. Actually, this is from you can if you don't if you're not sure where to get it, right, you can. View back my video, which is the how to activate e invoice portal. My invoice portal, ah, uh, this one is your uh because that video, right? Uh, we already trained you. Uh, we already explained how to retrieve all these things. So this one, once you add the ERP, right? 
you will get this screen. You will get this screen. Client ID, secret one, secret two. What you need to do is copy out the client ID here. Copy this client ID here. Copy. That's why I said uh, you can paste it at your notepad first or words. Then subsequently, when the time you do set up, very easy. You just copy and paste. Then here, right, you can always use your client secret one or two. Also no issue. Just either one will do. So I copy one. Okay, I paste it here. Then what you need to do is click this reset. Okay, key in your admin password. You see, are you want to? Are you sure you want to reset the AIP company ID? Once you reset, right, those previous information, those previous e invoice document uh, cannot be further action. For example, you already use our auto account halfway, halfway you go and reset again. So what will happen is, uh, because the secret ID already changed, it will detect as a different people to submit. So as long as different people to submit, right, you cannot. You cannot do any action on those documents, those invoices that you already submitted to IRP. Okay, so you need to take note on this. That's why when the time you create the, uh, add the ERP, right? Uh, I hope you guys put longer expiry, expired period. So it won't happen for this. Okay, so right now I click OK. Successfully add intermediary login and thin ownership. Ownership will be this company right now for this TIN number. Ownership will be this company. Okay? So this is how we do ownership for the TIN. Okay. Once you've done this, right, which means you are actually connecting to uh, IRP. Okay? So next step, what you require to do is here. Your existing item code, right? Uh, you got a list of your existing item code. What you need to do is you need to make sure you already maintain the mandatory field. For example, classification classification uh, okay you need to choose uh, your item classification this one the list be we pull the list from our irp okay then next will be this one click the others uh. here there is a uh, e-invoice measurement you need to choose a uh, uom measurement but then the list itself is retrieved from our irp okay after maintain these two things uh, also to take note this thing uh, must generate generate e-invoice so which means uh, even though you enable your consolidate e-invoice right uh, if let's say this item is under must generate e-invoice right you are not allowed to save or generate it under consolidated e-invoice this one special i think for special industry okay especially construction uh, hardware shop okay so next step maintenance Debtor maintenance here, you got your list of customer and also supplier. So what you need to do is from here, edit your existing uh, supplier. So update their thing. This one is a manual way to update. Another one is you can use this one. Get it from AIP. If let's say it's able to search, uh, then just select the collect one will do already. Another manual way is you can actually, uh, this is how we how we link together with the thing information. Another way is you can use this one here, the text entity here, to edit and maintain. To edit and maintain. So of course, we also have like um, sending email and asking your uh, supplier to key in. For example, like this. Uh, I have no idea what is the thing information for that company. So, what I need to do is, I click this one. Then I need the customer to key in the text information. So I do this. So you key in, uh, you key in your email address. Later on, once your customer fill in, right, they will inform you through this email. For example, my one will be auto, me, so, that. Okay, to which company, get the link. Okay, this is the link. So you can copy the link and then write your content in your email. Then after that, right, uh, you will receive an email which is like this. Something, uh, once you send to your customer, it will be something like this. Your customer will fill in accordingly. Fill in accordingly. Okay, actually I got the, got the real data as well today. 
โอเคเอ่อไอ้ก็ต้องเรียกติดตามทุกช่วง It will be something like this. Once your customer already update, right? You will receive this in uh this email, sending from Auto Count. So company tax information request updated. So when you receive this kind of information updated, right? What you need to do is back to your system here. Okay. You will be able to search that company up. So you just select add to tax entity will do already. All of the information will be there. Okay. They will fill up for you. This is uh, how we do. And then another shortcut way, uh, you can actually use this find function, search all, and then check all. And then you can batch get team here. Okay. So from here, right, you can send this, set this kind of things. Of course, you need to preset this thing first. Uh, which is a center, which email is a center email. And then generate a request link and send here. Okay. Of course, we also uh, allow you to import from the Excel as well. Uh, but this one I'm not going to show. Right? You can check with your support. It will be something like this. You can get the format from your current support. Okay. So after you've done all these things, right? Actually, right now, your setting already done. You can actually immediately start your e-invoice. Create a new e-invoice. Okay, add your item. All the information will be there. Okay, like straight away click approve. The detail, right? How to cancel, how to request approval, how to do credit note, debit note, refund. I will do it at next video. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, kindly contact us.